Over the past year I've gotten hundreds of video requests, but the overwhelming majority of them were asking me to go over creepypasta stories. But what is a creepypasta and why are they so fascinating? Around 2007, the term creepypasta started popping up all around the internet. Creepypasta is a subgenre of copypasta, otherwise known as copy-paste stories. The point of these tales are to scare the reader with outlandish stories and urban legends. The reason I bring this up is because I get hundreds of requests to make videos about these tales. For some reason, a lot of people think I talk about these stories on my channel, but the truth is I rarely have. It seems that some people think my theory videos are there for me to discuss creepypasta stories, but it was never meant to be that way. My theories were meant for me to find out if a certain mystery in gaming was true, while creepypasta stories are fake by definition, so I find no need to discuss them. Now, I'll admit that on occasion I do discuss creepypastas, like the Lavender Town theory video since I was already on the subject, the Hairbrand theory because Notch hinted that they may put him in the game, and the Tails doll theory, which turned out to be true but I don't want to talk about it. Even though I've been asked to talk about a dozen different creepypastas, there has been one that people have probably requested 200 different times, and that is Ben Drowned. It's a story of a college student with a Hack Majora's mask cartridge that has a save file named Ben on it. What proceeds is an outrageous tale and a video of a hack game to go along with it. Now I think it goes without me saying that this story is fake, and in my opinion pretty stupid, but it made me wonder why people are so intrigued with these internet campfire stories. To answer this we first have to look at what most of these popular creepypasta stories have in common. Some of the most popular creepypasta stories are about Pokemon, Zelda, Spongebob, and Mickey Mouse. It seems that all of these popular creepypastas are based off cartoons, video games, and TV shows that will bring back memories of a person's childhood. So people find the idea fascinating that there could be something more dark and twisted about their nostalgic memories. So those are my thoughts on creepypasta stories, and if you have a different opinion than me, please feel free to leave a comment below. So thanks for watching.